Hi, this is Josh from Apt, and this is the Motorola Surfboard SB6141. This is a modem box that you're going to go ahead and purchase and replace your rented modem box. So if you have Comcast, Time Warner cable, uh, Huawei cable, uh, Ecox cable across the U.S., this modem is going to be compatible. Now, the setup process, I'm going to warn you, you probably are going to need to contact your provider and say, hey, I don't want to rent the modem anymore, which means you might have to drop it off somewhere, and I need to set it up. And they're going to want your MAC address that this is uh, kind of written on the bottom or on the outside of the box. So don't expect a quick, easy setup. You're going to probably be on the phone with these providers to, to let them know that you just got your own new modem. Big benefit with this is going to be saving money. So get rid of that month, monthly rental fee for your current modem, purchase a modem, and then you can just wipe that rental fee off. So it should pay for itself uh, pretty quickly. So a lot of people are getting their own hardware. Another thing is speed. This is a Doxis 3.0 modem. Now you probably have a Doxis 3.0 modem, but in the world of Doxis, this is the technology inside a modem, there are different types of channel bonding. Okay, we can get technical, but I'll give you a great example. I had a Cisco modem with Comcast. Uh, it was Doxis 3.0. I was renting it. In fact, I went to the Comcast location that I, I, and I wanted to swap it out because I was renting it and I wanted the new Doxis 3.0. So my, my internet was around 50 megabits per second. And um, when I swap this out, based on the difference in channel bonding, this is 8.4. My other model from Cisco, I think, was 4.4, but it was not as powerful. My internet speed doubled to over 100 megabits per second just by swapping out with a new upgraded Doxis 3.0 modem. So it's a quick, easy setup as far as physical. You're just going to screw on your, co your coax cable from your internet. And then if you want wireless, this is not wireless, you're going to run a Cat5 cable to your wireless router. So that would be a quick option, hardwired, but when you go to set it up, you're going to need to contact your provider. Save a good amount of money, though, by having your own modem. And you might even uh, do what I did and get a faster connection. You can find out more about modems and other computer peripherals at apt.com. And while you're there, please subscribe or visit our YouTube channel.